So I want to encourage you all to be on the same journey that I'm on. And that is to get to the point that we don't let the outer world, circumstances, events, what people say, what people do, we don't let the outer world dictate our inner world, our mindset, our perspective, our optimism. When we can learn to untether so that the world around us does not control how we choose to show up, that is the definition of mental toughness. And that is having a winner's mindset. And the only way we can do that is with awareness. For those of you taking notes, write this down because it's really important. Awareness is always the first step to improvement. Awareness is always the first step to improvement. How do I know that? Because you'll never improve something you're unaware of. You will never fix something you're oblivious to. The first step to improvement is being aware. I heard this quote, I heard it both from Nick Saban, the head football coach at Alabama, and I heard it from Oprah Winfrey. So if those two people are saying it, it has to be true. And that is we have to learn to be where our feet are. Be where your feet are, guys. You're listening to what I'm saying. Uh, you guys are gonna make a mistake and I'm gonna see you get frustrated and it's gonna affect the next play that you play because you're gonna be frustrated and disappointed. That's not being where your feet are. The last play that you played is history. The only thing it's good for is learning something. So let's look at next play. When I was in the basketball training space, working with the best players in the world, in addition to helping them improve their physicality and athleticism, my number one job was to get them to what we would call play present. And a key fundamental to that was getting them to move to the next play. You just missed a layup, it's all right, next play. You just turned the ball over, it's okay, next play. Yes, I know the referee didn't make a call, it happens sometimes in basketball, next play. Why do I want my players focused on the next play? There's nothing they can do about the play that just happened. It's over, it's in the past, it's in the rear view mirror, it is unchangeable. There's nothing you can do about that missed layup, that turnover, or that referee's inability to make a call. It is over. It is in the past. It is in the rearview mirror. It is unchangeable. You gotta be relentless. Be where your feet are. Don't worry about what's gonna happen in the future. That just creates a bunch of anxiety. How about right now? Whatever we do in the next minute, that's what you're focused on. So any mental, physical, or emotional energy or currency, you choose to sink into something that is in the past and is unchangeable, means you don't have that resource in the present moment to invest it where you can still make a change. Everybody agree with that? We're not thinking about what's gonna happen in the future. We're not thinking about what happened in the past, not what happened yesterday in practice, nothing, but what I can do right now. That's the best way to compete. So the sooner you can wipe that whiteboard clean and move to the next play, the sooner you'll be able to be at peak performance. So we move to the next play.